Hello and Happy New Year. This is Aligner. Aligner is our newest plugin. Right now you can't buy it, but you can claim a free copy if you complete our annual customer survey. Link is in the description. Aligner is an automatic phase and polarity alignment tool. You might use it if you have a multi-mic recording where the microphones are different distances from the source, or where the polarity of one microphone is reversed. You might also use it to ensure a microphone signal and a DI signal are lined up correctly. These differences in phase and polarity are often almost imperceptible, but they can result in a recording sounding thin or weak. Aligner is a time-saving tool, so you can avoid fixing these issues manually, which gives you more time for creativity. Although it is worth noting that the parameters can also be adjusted manually if you prefer to align the signals yourself. Let's have a look. First of all, I've got a guitar track which was recorded with three microphones. The raw recording sounds okay. But let's see if we can get it sounding even stronger with a liner. First, I need to insert a liner on all three of my guitar tracks. I can open any of the three instances and the UI will look exactly the same, apart from the track names at the bottom, which are highlighted in orange. This gets slightly more complicated if I have more than one active group, but we'll get to that later. In order to start the auto alignment, I press align, but in order for it to work, there needs to be audio playing in all three channels. Let's give it a try. The samples field here shows the number of samples each piece of audio is delayed by in order for the tracks to line up. Aligner thinks the audio should be in phase now. Let's check that out. I'm going to bypass it every few seconds so you can hear the difference. To me, that sounds a lot more full. Next, let's check out a liner on drums. I'm using a second group here. The drop down in the top left dictates which group the active track is part of. This is worth bearing in mind because I can't switch back to my guitar group by selecting it in the drop down. If I do that, then whichever drum track I currently have active will be added to the guitar group. If you're lining up a full drum kit recording with a liner, you'll get the best results if your sample audio only includes one drum being hit. This particular recording is perfect because it starts with four solitary snare hits. I won't demonstrate the entire process again, so I've actually prepared this one in advance. But let's hear the audio and I'll bypass a liner every few seconds so you can hear the difference. For me, that's a really stark difference. In particular, the snare feels much more central. I'm sure you can see how this will help get the best out of your recordings. Claim your free copy of Aligner by completing our customer survey. Thanks for watching.